simulation that does not play with time. Let's look at an example. Rashid is a seller of a popular gem. The following table shows the probability distribution of the weekly demand for the gem that he sells. Whenever he is left with 20 bottles or less in stock, he will place a new order from the supplier of the gem. The supplier provides their sellers with 70 bottles of gems for each order. When an order is placed to the supplier, Rashid will receive the order either on the next week or on the next two weeks. The following table shows the probability distribution of the time to receive the order. Rashid always makes sure all his customers' demands are fulfilled. Thus, if the gems are out of stock on a particular week, he will carry the demand to the following week or weeks. Given the following random numbers, conduct a 10-week simulation for Rashid beginning with 70 bottles of gems in stock. To conduct simulation, first, find cumulative probability and interval of random number for all variables of interest. Next, build a simulation table. Because we are asked to do simulation for 10 weeks, begin the table with a column for week and write number 1 until 10 in the column. To determine the next columns, follow the flow of the story. Rashid sells jam. Every week, he will begin with a number of bottles of jam in hand. So, we should start by putting a column for number of bottles of gems at the beginning. Customer will come to buy the jam, and Rashid will be left with a number of bottles of jam at the end of the week. Customers buying the gems are also known as demand. So, we need a column for demand. But since demand is a variable, we must first put a column for random number before a column for demand. After having a column for demand, it is appropriate to put a column for number of bottles of gems sold before putting a column for number of bottles of gems left. Whenever Rashid is left with 20 bottles or less in stock, he will place a new order from the supplier of the gem. When an order is placed to the supplier, Rashid will receive the order either on the next week or on the next two weeks. So, we need a column for time to receive order. But since time to receive order is a variable, we must first put a column for random number before a column for time to receive order. The gems could be out of stock. So, put a column for number of bottles of gems that are out of stocks or number of bottles of gems short. After the simulation table is built, do the simulation. The simulation must be done from left to right. On week 1, we begin with 70 bottles of gems and random number for demand is 79. 79 lies in this interval. Thus, demand on week 1 is 40. Number of bottles of gems sold on week 1 is 40. Thus, number of bottles of gems left is 30. Since there are 30 bottles left, we don't need to order. There is no shortage, so number of bottles of gems short is zero. On week 2, we begin with 30 bottles of gems and random number for demand is 35. Demand for week 2 is 20. Number of bottles of gems sold on week 2 is 20. Thus, number of bottles of gems left is 10. Since there are 10 bottles left, we need to place an order. Random number for time to receive order is 42. 42 lies in this interval. Thus, time to receive order is next week. There is no shortage, so number of bottles of gems short is 0. On week 3, we begin with 80 bottles of gems and random number for demand is 98. Demand for week 3 is 45. Number of bottles of gems sold on week 3 is 45. Thus, number of bottles of gems left is 35. Since there are 35 bottles left, we don't need to order. 
there is no shortage, so number of bottles of jams short is zero. On week four, we begin with 35 bottles of jams, and random number for demand is 82. Demand for week four is 40. Since we only have 35 bottles of jams, number of bottles of jams sold on week four is 35. Thus, number of bottles of jams left is zero. Since there are no bottles left, we need to place an order. Random number for time to receive order is 25. Time to receive order is next week. There are five bottles short, so number of bottles of jams short is five. On week five, we begin with 70 bottles of jams, and random number for demand is 53. Demand for week 5 is 30. Rashid always makes sure all his customers' demands are fulfilled. Thus, if the jams are out of stock on a particular week, he will carry the demand to the following week or weeks. Since there are 5 bottles short on week 4, we carry it to week 5 and thus number of bottles of jams sold on week 5 is 35. Thus, number of bottles of jams left is 35. Since there are 35 bottles left, we don't need to order. There is no shortage, so number of bottles of jams short is zero. Continue the simulation until week 10.